hormones are just as important for premenopausal women as they are for postmenopausal women. So let me go through that. Um, I'll do a separate video on postmenopausal women and hormones, but let's do premenopausal women first. So if you have no PMS, no cyclical migraines, no issues with weight gain, no issues with bloating, swelling, um, difficulty with maintaining weight, uh, if you have no issues with fatigue, if you think life is absolutely perfect and you think that life cannot be better, then no, I think your hormones are pretty good if you're premenopausal. I probably have described 1% of women that are premenopausal that have no problems or symptoms. 99% have some sort of issue or problems. So, which ones? Women probably don't understand that it's the fall in their hormones toward their period that results in PMS. And PMS can be any symptom in the world from headache to bloating, swelling, dysphoria, um, abdominal cramps, pain, um, bitchiness. Um, you women know how that feels. I don't have to describe it for you. Um, and there's no treatment for that. Uh, unfortunately, uh, at least most doctors think there's no treatment. Well, there is, progesterone. And we use high-dose progesterone in order to calm down that. It's the fall in the progesterone towards the end of your cycle that results in these symptoms of PMS or this uh, dysphoric syndrome that's commonly described. And some doctors don't know how to treat it, so they use antidepressants to try to treat it, which in most circumstances don't work, and patients don't want to take them. But it's simply the fall in the progesterone that's causing the symptoms. Well, then don't let the progesterone fall. How do we do that? Well, you take progesterone. So we prescribe progesterone throughout the month, and in the times when you have an increase in PMS symptoms, we prescribe increased doses of progesterone, and you will completely eliminate your PMS symptoms. I work in a hospital with most of the women have got PMS. Dana, you know how bad you suffered with PMS. And when you take enough of the progesterone, guess what happens? There's no PMS. You're not calling in sick. You're not throwing up. You're not having these terrible, excruciating cyclical migraines that make you turn the lights out and put a pillow over your head for three days. You don't have the pain and the cramps um, that women will typically experience that will prevent them from working. It's simply a matter of using enough progesterone to eliminate that and it's a wonderful treatment. Most women don't understand that when women become depressed postpartum, it's a progesterone deficiency. There's now an FDA approved medicine that costs $30,000 to treat postpartum depression. That medicine is a metabolite of progesterone. All you simply need to do is take progesterone, your postpartum depression will resolve. For women that are bothered by intermittent depression in premenopausal years, Progesterone has had a wonderful success with treating general depression in premenopausal women that are typically cyclical. Instead of taking the antidepressants, and taking, instead of taking all the other medicines, you can avoid the dysphoria and the mood swings because progesterone stimulates the GABA receptors, which are relaxing. It's an anxiolytic. It resolves or diminishes anxiety and depression with a simple hormone called progesterone. Some women have PCOS. 15% of women have what's called PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome, which is related to irregular periods, sometimes infertility, weight issues. Uh, typical symptoms of PCOS are acne, hirsutism in severe cases. Those women need progesterone. They are progesterone deficient, which results in chronic miscarriages and their anovulation, meaning they don't ovulate, which means they don't menstruate, which means they can't get pregnant, can significantly improve with progesterone. The other hormone that's significantly lacking that is the most important hormone for PCOS that most doctors do not understand is thyroid. Every woman with PCOS has low normal thyroid, and when you optimize it and bring the levels of thyroid up, and that thyroid is called T3, it will result in symptom improvement, an improvement in metabolism, improvement in weight loss, and an improvement in your ability to metabolize, which then allows you to then start to ovulate and menstruate normally and eventually get pregnant. So there's a multitude of different things that we can do for premenopausal women. Primarily the hormones are progesterone and thyroid. We can also use testosterone in premenopausal women that have libido issues, sexual dysfunction issues, energy issues, fatigue issues. 
the two most important hormones in women for both menopausal women and premenopausal women that help improve and treat fatigue, loss of energy, loss of desire to do things, sexual dysfunction, are thyroid and testosterone. Before I finish, you must understand that your physicians are probably not going to know or understand any of this. If you go to your physician and ask for the hormones, progesterone, thyroid, or testosterone, they will probably say, you don't need them, your levels are normal, it doesn't work. They will come up with some excuse because if a doctor's not up on it, and trust me, they're not up on it, they're gonna be down on it. Well, that's why we have the site so that you can look up doctors in your area that are trained through our courses on how to prescribe testosterone, thyroid, and progesterone for premenopausal women to help improve their symptoms, health, wellness, and quality of life. That's what hormones do for premenopausal women.